We're going to go back into the gold now. Okay, so mixing up the gold. Just add a little water. To mix the silver, silver is the color that goes behind the petals, it's a little like the gold. So this is called, it used to be called imitation silver, and now I guess it's just called silver, gouache paint. So it's going to be silver and water, no other colors needed, no white. And then looking for that smooth, silky cream consistency. Sometimes the silver can look streaky when you paint it, so I often do two coats, two layers of silver. Maybe the first one is a little heavier, and the second one a little thinner, but still two. Just so it covers and it, it sits really nice and flat for my sample. Okay, so this is just behind the petals. So the petals in the Ganesha Yantra are red. To make the red, I'm going to use just a little white and there's two reds you can use. There's primary red, there's spectrum red. Spectrum red is a little orangey and I feel today like doing the more pinky one. So I'm going to use primary red primary red and let's see popular red here so we're going to use red and the very tiniest amount of white I find that if I don't put white in the red gets a bit streaky but if I put too much white in the red turns really pink so let's see let's see how it's looking You want to put just as much white in as you need, but not so much that the color turns too pink. So this is a little pink. Without the white, the red is really streaky and it's, it's sort of patchy and transparent. So you definitely do need some white in there. This is looking pretty good. I'll do a sample. And then I might wait for it to dry and just make sure it doesn't dry too streaky. It's looking a little transparent to me. Just put a tiny bit more white in. And then while I'm mixing the colors, I'm actually going to mix a tiny little bit of a darker color that's going to go in the seeds. So this is going to be over here. This is the seed color. So There's a little bit of the red. These are the centers, the central part of the heart shape. So we have the heart shape, the lotus petal, the ants in my house at the moment, 
And then this part. So this little triangle is the color I'm mixing right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is have a little of that color and I'm actually going to take a small brush, take a little green. When you add the opposite color, so I add green to red, it makes a deep color. So it's like a deep purplish color. This will be the color of the centers of the petals. See how it's kind of like a purplish color. So that was red plus green equals a darker purpley red, okay? And I'll probably use that smaller brush then. All right, so now I'm pretty happy with my red. And I'm going to start on my petals. Before I paint the gold ring, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to erase some of these extra markings. Just because the next color is gold and then it's white. So the white is not as forgiving, it's not as easy to color over. Let's see, even in here, a little bit, it's going to be yellow, orange. Once you paint with gouache, you can't really erase these markings, so you have to do them first. This is all good information. Do not press too hard with your lead while you're painting. Drawing, I mean. <laughs> Drawing. All right, so we're getting there. Let's do the circle again. I don't always do this. But if I feel like the dark colors and I want to be able to see what the circle was, I might redraw some, some elements of it. I can even see, for example, Let's see, I could just add a little bit more red there. All right, now I'm ready for the gold ring. The gold we already have been using. So I'm gonna just mix the gold with some water. The nice thing about using gouache paints is that you can just let them dry and then they'll come back to life if you add a little water. For the white that's going to go behind the central triangle, I'm actually going to paint the white so the paper all has the same consistency. Mix this up. So white along with the gold and silver are the only two types of color, white and metallic, that only require water. So you don't need to use any 
other pigments okay white gouache water also for the white I tend to keep it kind of a little more watery white is a very chalky gouache and it soaks up all the water really quickly so I usually start with a little bit more water in my palette 